Hello my loves, as promised, I'm making a quick video to show you how to get the free Remembered Shirt template. Um, I'm going to go step by step through the four steps with you all, uh, but this is the template and before I go through the steps, I just want to show you uh, it is an all over template. However, it's versatile because you can go to this uh, clipping mask here which makes everything about a 13 by 19 proportion and then you can go to this clipping mask here where it feathers off the edges of the design and now it is something that you can print on a 13 by 19 sheet of paper and you don't have to worry about um, trying to print it all over so it is versatile it can be used both ways and that's why I don't design with stuff all on the sleeves and everything um, unless I just want that extra I try to make it so that hey I can upsell them on an all over shirt but I can also sell a whole bunch of 13 by 19 prints that I can do myself and I can control that variable especially for remembrance shirts a little bit quicker turnaround because um, you know you're usually dealing with situations where it's a tight deadline so I um, just want y'all to understand that this is a versatile template and you'll be receiving all of these layers um, there is let me turn back on let me go ahead delete no not delete don't delete disable the layer mask and then um, and, and I always put like a weird color in the background so I can see what what's actually showing and then we'll do the same thing to this background we'll disable that layer mask so now we have it all over again and I just wanted to show you that there are gate options there's a gate one and a gate two that's gate one no that's gate two this is gate one and then there was also an option to change like the background the colors of the clouds and all of that good stuff so you have options here for the coloring like you can make it more intense you can actually throw a color overlay on anything that you're working on and actually change the colors of the clouds and so forth so um, that will be available as an option too you can even make them purple pink blue orange uh, well they're already blue but you understand what I'm saying so anyway back to uh, what we're actually doing which are the steps oh yeah and the the doves you can take those out make those appear or disappear as well and then the font I I don't have this font to give to you but you can download the font um, if you want to so that you have it it's more than likely if I use a font it's a free font or it's a font that I sell so when you get the file if you don't have the font on your computer I can't give it to you because it's not my font to give to you but you can look on the font or Google and find that font name because it will tell you when you try to open it I believe that's like master of comics or something to that effect let's just right click and see um, <laughs> go to our font the master of break yeah master of comics is one that's a little bit funkier than that one but yeah I use this one all the time master break and this is a personal use one so technically you're gonna be limited like it probably won't have all the characters and stuff but this is just to give you an example um let's move on I said it was gonna be a short video so let's do this I am going to um, follow these steps in order and I'm going to do them with you okay so let's do this together let's subscribe to youtube.com forward slash n8 lab and I want y'all to google n8 that's not a part of the steps but just google the word n8 and I think it'll give you some understanding of what n8 design and n8 design n8 design and n8 lab is really about all right so what was the step subscribe to youtube.com slash n8 lab hit that bell and take a screenshot so if you're doing this on your phone I'm sure you know how to do a screenshot if you're doing this on the computer you may not know how to do a screenshot so let me help you out with that um, you're going to hit subscribe hit the bell bing, and then screenshot so on a Windows I'm gonna hold down the Windows icon key it's right next uh, to the left of the alt key and I'm gonna hit print screen and you can just hit print screen too but I do that because it usually saves it somewhere so now in any program I can use Photoshop paint whatever 
um, I have that screenshot saved. So if you're doing it on the computer, I'm showing you how to do something you probably never knew you could do before. So if I go to Photoshop, File New, because I did a screenshot, it's automatically going to default that to my clipboard size. Bet you never knew you could take a screenshot. All right, so that's my screenshot. If you are using something like Paint or any other program, I believe any other program, if Paint will do it, anything can do it. You can even do it in Microsoft Word if, if you needed to. So I'm going to do Control V, which is to paste, and guess what? It's still there. So whenever you hit the Windows key, hold it down, and then Print Screen is at the top of your keyboard, more than likely is right next to your F12 button. And it says PRTSC. Usually it's abbreviated. That means print screen. So you're going to do a screenshot. If you're doing screenshots on your phone, I don't know, depending on what kind of phones you have, you have to Google how to do a screenshot. But I want you to save that screenshot. Okay. And even if you did this in paint, because I know some of my people are, are not on this Photoshop comfortable, comfortable level yet. That's cool. File, save, and save it as, I don't care if you save it as a PNG or a JPEG. Um, and just save this as the, whatever you want to save it as, I don't care. I'm going to put it on my desk of the top and we'll just save this as step one. Okay. So that's step one. You got your proof. You did that. Congratulations. Let's move on. What's next? So we're going to comment on this video and take a screenshot. And the reason why I'm asking y'all to screenshot, because some of y'all have different usernames for your YouTube versus your Facebook and all that good stuff. So I just want to screenshot and then that makes me feel comfortable. All right. So I'm going to click on this link. Step two. Y'all are going to hear my country self talk this one isn't too bad. and demonstrating how to press this all over shirt. So for this one, we're going to comment. Add a public comment, and I'm just going to do test comment. You know what? No, I'm going to give myself some props. I'm going to say you rock because I do. All right, so comment. I don't care what you comment. Comment something that you really want to comment. If there is something that you want me to do or look at or any of that, comment. Just comment anything. I'm not going to pressure you on what to say. You can tell me that I'm the most, most gorgeous person in the world, I'm super smart, all of those things I'll accept, maybe even give you a little extra credit. All right, so um, you commented on the video, check, but we didn't screenshot, I didn't follow my own directions. So let's do two, 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 Windows key, print screen. Did you see how the screen flashes then? It let me know I was doing a screen of the shots. So I'm going to, this time I'm going to do it in Photoshop. So control V and then I can save this as a J to the peg. And this one, we're going to go to the disc of the top and call it step two. All right. Okay, docs, let's move on to three, like it's taking me less time to do this than it is to explain to y'all what it needs to be done. Let's see. So we're going to like this Facebook page. So we're going to click on the link. If you don't have a Facebook, then you got to at least make one for this stuff if you want the template. Because there are no exceptiones. I don't know if that's how you say exceptions in Spanish. Uh, so yeah, like. Where is the likes? Here. You would like. I already liked my own page. Look at that. So like the page and then screenshot. So when I screenshot it, I should see the word liked. And I hope that you're following it too. So print screen. Y'all just saw black screen go. Well, control V. So I'm using the same photo on Photoshop. I can just keep layering. I think you can do the same thing on paint. Let's see if we can do the same thing on paint. Just keep layering it over it. Yep. So file, save as, but when you save it as a JPEG, of course, it's not going to have all of those layers. So that's cool. Step three, that's all I made. Let's keep it moving. There is one final step, and this is the step of all steps. Um, last step, post any design you want to see me use as inspiration for the next tutorial. And you're going to post it here in this Facebook group. Now, 
in order to post on that Facebook group, you do have to get um, approval. So I'll be looking out for y'all and I'll be approving y'all as fast as I can. But um, yeah, so the whole point of this is that we're doing, gonna do a lesson in inspiration, how we can take something that already exists and create a rendition of it that is our own. And we're gonna do that as a, as a lesson and a blessing from this whole experience. So, uh, let's see. Well, somebody asked me to graduation shirts, right? This is perfect. Graduation shirt. So I'm going to go Google image. I'm gonna look me up a graduation shirt. And I'm sure y'all want like a photo shirt. Of course you want a photo shirt. And let's make it even more difficult. I don't know how y'all like to do me. Let's do um, an all over. Whew, there we go. All right, and I see some cool stuff on here. Studio 29 is doing it. Some of these, this might even be some of y'all's work. Um, and if so, then I want to say I see some excellent work here and I will do my best to create a version of what I see without actually copying it, okay? And one thing that I want you to notice there are elements. So you have background elements, you have name, uh, maybe the year, that sort of thing. And let's see, Studio 29. So I'm shouting out Studio 29 right now. This all looks really good. All right, so let's say we're gonna go with something like this one. If you were following my directions, Right click, save image as, on the, we'll put it on the desk of the top. And this one's a PNG because it's inherently a PNG. So let's call that step four. All right, so we got this all together. Mm -hmm. All right, so Studio 29, we got your inspiration, and I will remember to shout you out um, as inspiration for the design. All right, so what else do we need to do? So we're going to post that design in this group, and if you're not a part of this group, you will know, but don't fret. Um, just go ahead and uh, hit that request, and I'll be sure to go ahead and get you accepted. So here I am. I am gonna make a post. So how do you make a post? Let's do the photo video. And it's taking a little while. I'm out here in the sticks with this uh, bootleg Wi-Fi. So we'll make it do what it do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and close down some of these windows just in case it's eating up my little internet. thing is just doing the most all right so we're gonna upload photos and videos and we're gonna go to my desktop and step four is what we were supposed to post as the as the post right so we're gonna post it there and then we're gonna read the rest of the directions so then put your screenshot proof in the comments of your post don't put it as actual post because I want what your what your inspiration image is to be the main idea the other stuff is just your, your proof of, uh, of following instructions. And then feel free to advertise your YouTube, your website, your Facebook groups, etc. So once you do this, um, you can write me a message, however you want to do right there. I'm going to do, mine is n8lab.com. My Facebook is facebook.com forward slash n8 lab and let's see instagram is at n8 lab all of that stuff um oh actually that's facebook <laughs> n8 lab by n n a t p Lab. And I guess I can't do the at symbol without it turning into something. So let me do space and then an at. So it won't mess that up. But um, this is just what I want to learn. And then what I would do is I would have to post it, right? 
So I'm following directions. Let me make sure I don't have any other directions of my own that I can't follow. All right, so it's just as feel free to advertise your stuff. You don't have to do that, but I, I'm wanting this to be an opportunity for you to showcase what you have going on. Um, let's see, we're going to post now. And then whoever watches this video, or sees this post will understand what this is for. So, oh, maybe they won't understand. So maybe what I need to do is edit this post and I'm gonna say, yeah, that's a good idea. So then that way we're not misrepresenting. This is an image that I would like to see you all recreate your own version of. So let me take my information out of here because I don't want people to think that that's my information. I'll just put my information in the comments. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna be super careful of this kind of stuff from now on. Um, as a matter of fact, I have like all of these elements already, so this would be a really easy one to redo. Um, yeah, because I have the graduation caps. I don't know why this looks so familiar, but anyhow, um, let's go ahead and in the comments, we're going to put our pictures of our steps. So step one, bam, there we go. Step two, can we, oh, we can only do one at a time. So I'm gonna hit enter, I guess. Step two, and like I said, I'm gonna look over this briefly just to make sure that you actually did it before I send you over my files. Um, so this just ensures that in one place, I know that you did what you came to do and I can proceed with just sending you that file. So that's two, we got one more step to do because step four is the actual post. So step three is there. And then I might put my information in with that comment. Uh oh, okay, cool. So that's it. Bam, I get a free template. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and post this video. Um, I will post it to YouTube. I'll post it to Facebook as well as the group as well as the um, or innate creatives is the name of the group. Facebook is forward slash innate lab. And then I will also share on my personal message or personal page. All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to try to get some rest this evening again. Oh, that's another design I was worked by. I had um, already done that. I'm going to transfer this one from a football design to a graduation design, just using the same elements and showing you how you can use one template and make it anything you can imagine. All right, so we'll be playing with that one for graduation. Anyhow, that's it. I will catch y'all soon. All right, my loves. Good night.